Hey guys, welcome to Rudra Tech Tutorial and in this chapter of Angular 8 Unit Testing with Jasmine and Karma, we are going to write our first test case. Now, objective of this video is to write and execute first test suit with unit test case. In order to execute unit test case, we have to have a functionality that we need to test. Now here I have created a file with first function.ts in which I have created a function addition which has two parameters number one and number two and purpose of this function is to return addition of two numbers. Now I want to test the addition of two numbers using Jasmine. We are going to write our test case to test the functionality of this addition function. Now I am going to create a new file for testing this. So please notice the naming convention. I am going to write the name as first function dot spec dot ts. If you look at this, I have added the name as spec. So adding a spec is necessary so as to execute your test case. And so the Visual Studio Code, the editor that I am using for creating our Jasmine and Karma test case, is showing color encoding different for spec files and different for function files. So Let's go and write our spec file here. So in this one, I'm going to write a describe. So describe is a test suit that is helpful for writing the group of test cases, unit test cases together. Now it has two parameters. First is the name or the description of your test suit. So in this one, I'm going to write it as test. And second one is the spec definition. That is the function that will be having the group of test cases. So this describe is useful for creating a group of unit test cases that we will be using in our testing. Now once we have created our test suit, we have to specify the specs or the unit test cases that we want to execute and that can be done using it. So it will define the test case that we are trying to execute and it has multiple parameters but at this moment we are going to discuss only two. First is the test description. So I am going to write testing addition function and second is the an arrow function that we are going to write so this is a function that will contain the code to test our function so once we have created our test spec for, that is the unit test case i want to test whether our addition function For which I will be passing 10, 20 will be equal to 30. So our function that is the unit test case should be able to verify if the parameters 10 and 20 are passed to the addition function, it should return output as 30. And we can test this using Jasmine functions called expect. So expect is a function that will help us to assert whether the incoming output is equal to or containing certain value or the correct value and whether it would pass or not. So it is going to help us to assert that the given functionality is correctly returning the given output. So in this case, I am going to pass directly the function addition and to addition, I am going to pass parameters 20. Now I want to assert that it is going to return 30. So in this case, I am going to add to be. So to be is a matcher and there are a lot of matches. You can see there is a list of them to be close to, to be defined, to be falsy, to be greater than. So we will be seeing these matches one by one in the future videos. But for our current video, we will be working only with to be. So here I am going to write to be 30. Simple. Now, once you are done with writing your test, you have to execute your test. 
and you can execute your test using the angular cli command ng test so i'm going to open the terminal and here i'm going to execute the angular cli command ng test so this command will compile your code and execute all the unit test cases that are written in spec files now our test case has been executed by using the ng test and you can see total one success so our test case has been successfully executed so here we have addition done for 10 and 20 and expecting it to be 30 so yes it has been successfully executed now let's see it on the browser so on the browser it is going to show it like this one spec zero failures and testing test addition and test addition function so our test has been successfully executed so this showing that our test has been successfully executed now let's go and execute it with a negative test case so here we were expecting it to be 30 now i'm going to change it to 35 now since our angular cli command ng test is running it is integrating the test and it will show whatever the output is coming out in this case our test case would fail because addition of 10 and 20 is 30 but i have added 35 now let's go and look it at on the browser so on the browser it shows one spec and one failure so here it is clearly indicating our test case has failed and it also shows the stack trace of the error message that has come expected 30 to be 35 so in this example we have executed a unit test case for addition function successfully we will be seeing these examples more and more in future videos if you have liked this video please do subscribe and provide us the comments so that we can provide you more quality videos thank you